What's up everyone, the Godfather Dictator, and it's been a little while since I bring you the Nowhere to Run on Ninja Gate and Sigma. And now I have to think if I will do the complete Nowhere to Run on the Ninja Gate and Sigma 2. Here um, I'm bringing you a little um, Lost in the Nightmare, and it's actually a very old video that I have. Well, not that old, but still, it's a whole video. It's the last game I played with uh, Tommy Ninety. For those who don't know who he is, I will put a, I will put a link of his channel in the description of the video. Uh, if you want to check out his channel, he's pretty beast at the Resident Evil Five. He's actually still still playing it in Mercenaries, and uh, yeah, he's a great player as of Mercenary. It's just me. At some point, I got kind of bored with doing the mercenaries and stuff because sometimes uh well at some point mercenaries rely on luck and good connection more than the skills actually because once you know the good strategy uh, well uh, it's all about luck on how many melee kill you will get and uh, some people say it's not well i don't care <laughs> seriously that's my opinion about it so uh, don't come to me and tell me no 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 because I don't care seriously and here it will not be uh, the whole commentary for the for this thing here for this little project it's I just wanted to mention what it is and it's actually just a no damage run on veteran mode we didn't e even do professional and the reason why is because once we were getting to the Wesker's fight on professional uh, the um, how can I say this when the um, the QTE appear, you know, the um, where you have to press some button to dodge him or stuff. On professional, the buttons are a lot more tight than on veteran, and we both didn't want to bother since it has been a while that we had played story mode on this game. So I just said like, hey, hey let's do a veteran Nord run just for the fun of it. So that's what we basically did. And uh, so don't expect like nothing crazy fancy here. Of course, we try to kill uh, every bosses, every sub bosses, like the guy with the eye in his back and uh, other stuff like that. But uh, trust me, there's nothing fancy it will come in a couple of part. And uh, after this, I will probably bring you a couple of, um, of Black Ops video. And I won't explain the gameplay in Black Ops. I will just mainly do some short commentaries talking about uh, probably random stuff. And the reason why I want to do right now is because I think I have a bunch in my uh, in my hard drive, and uh, well, I want to use them. And also, uh, I realized that uh, I will talk a bit more about it on the next video. But uh, I got a couple of games that I play with uh, the classic uh, Ghost, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja Pro for those who play Call of Duty, and like. Um, I've watched a couple of other videos from different players, commentators, and I realized that a bunch of people like complain on these set of perk, like the class itself. People think that people who use ghosts or anything are fucking noob, and I think wider people say that mostly it's because they cannot be seen by the spy plane and ghost people tend to hide in the corner and camp a bit and uh, yeah well I know what it is because sometimes I do it myself but I have to say it's part of the game and I just think that I won't get too much into it because I know I can start talking a lot about it but I just think that people rely too much on spy plane and uh, me for me you only need to get to fucking kill with hard line to get spy plane and right after if you're playing against bad player or whatever it's pretty easy to go kill them I mean you see them as a as a little red point in the map so it's pretty obvious where to go and even good players will eventually get killed because when I was playing against bad players I was not using ghost I was having good game but if I play against good player and I'm not using ghost of course I can do good game but I will still get killed I mean sometimes because like you play against good player well you will probably kill him one time then he will kill you and the same shit will go on so anyway I will talk about about it more in the next video because here it's a Resident Evil 5 video and I, I don't want to start to rant on the Call of Duties but anyway that's just my opinion so that's why I will bring you a couple of games that I have that I use Ghost and stuff but I don't think that they are a noobish game 
some of the game I'm playing demolition and I'm going to own the team and their spawn and I'm and I'm always playing solo so there's no uh, how can I say there's some people that I saw who do like stupid video where they're full team and they go into the enemy spawn and demolition and they just kill kill spawn them with uh, like crazy feed the guy just appear in front of them and they just keep killing it and like get triple kill and uh, stuff like that I don't do that I patrol the spawn alone so they cannot spawn in front of me I mostly travel around and try to find them and kill them and of course when I play against good player I cannot do that because they will realize at some point like hey someone is in their spawn and he's killing the shit out of us let's go kill him and I uh, would eventually get killed because sometime I wasn't able to spawn kill them because of that because I was playing against some better player or team because I'm always playing it alone so and also is there some people would like to play with me Call of Duty well just let me know but don't start in inviting me on uh, on PSN if I accept you or anything like because there's some people who add me and they keep inviting me like 25 times in a row uh, it's because if I don't reply on the first time I'm busy or doing something else so stop bothering me people who do this seriously I just delete them right away I, I don't give a fuck I'm trying to clear my list so that I have people that I really play with and I don't want any douchebag who keep inviting me and uh, anything like this so anyways for the rest I will let you watch the video it will come in uh, two parts I think I will depend on uh, the length of the parts so uh, as for the rest uh, enjoy this little video as usual uh, don't forget to thumbs up uh, subscribe anything to help me and uh, yeah I will see you um, on the next video like I said it will probably be a Call of Duty video and I will probably see if I continue the Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Nowhere Run after I already did chapter 1, but I'm not sure if I will do the later chapter. So, yeah, anyway, enjoy as usual and see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Now. Don't know. I hope we don't run into whatever's missing. And when have we ever been that lucky?
Okay. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 